Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with a delicious grilled halibut steak with chanterelle mushrooms, sweet corn, some pepper, some tarragon, some microgreens. We will talk about those later. Anyway, great end of summer, beginning of fall meal. And it started with these super beautiful white chanterelle. Now you're going to be able to find chanterelle in your fancier markets this time of year, or farmer's market. And just make sure you scrape. If there's any dirt, scrape it off, wipe it off. But you know what? If you're afraid of eating a little dirt, you shouldn't be eating mushrooms, okay? So anyway, don't be afraid. Brush them off. I cut it in nice, big, thick slices. Usually, for a dish like this, because it's going to go with corn, I might have diced it to kind of match the shapes, but I'm glad I did. I wanted a bigger, meatier bite. So a little bit of olive oil wet in that pan, and on medium heat, with a nice pinch of salt, I'm going to cook those mushrooms until they're lightly brown. See? So they're all like that one. So that took about 10 minutes. All right, up to you. You can really caramelize these, really cook them well done. I have some fresh corn. I sliced right off a cob. One ear of corn, about a cup. You can use frozen if you have to. And I have a little bit of diced roasted red pepper. These are the Spanish piquillo peppers that I love. But if you want to, you can use any red pepper or dice up a red bell yourself. All right, after the mushrooms are nicely browned and just about cooked through, I'm going to add my corn and pepper mixture. All right, after toasting the corn in the pan for about two, three minutes, I'm going to add about a half a cup of water. Now the sun went behind a cloud and the color got weird here, so I apologize. But that'll happen. Okay, so the water goes in. We're going to simmer this for about five minutes, just to reduce it a little bit. To finish this extremely simple side dish, I threw in a chunk of butter and the juice of half a lemon, and that was it. So simple. Because chanterelles are so earthy and meaty and delicious, and the sweet corn and the slightly bittersweet pepper, perfect combination. You don't have to do too much. So I'm going to put that on just really low heat. It's got a little bit of liquid left to it, but that's fine. And I'm going to leave that on low while I grill my beautiful wild Pacific halibut steaks. All right, I hope you can get halibut where you live because it's a great meaty, meaty, firm, nice white fish. Now, it was raining outside, so I didn't bring my camera out. So I took pictures. This is me grilling halibut about four minutes aside. Just salt and pepper, a little bit of oil brushed on. So simple. And then it was time to eat. Since the mushroom and corn mixture had been on that low heat for about, I don't know, 10 minutes while I grilled the fish, it was just about perfect. If you need to crank up the heat, reduce the rest of the liquid, you can. But I liked a little bit of juice on there. And then very important, before we put our fish down, I hit it with some freshly chopped tarragon. See, I didn't want to cook that into the mixture because I wanted it really fresh and sweet tasting and smelling. So put your tarragon in right before you put the fish down. Some lemon and a big, well not that big, a handful of microgreens. Now you might hear chefs on TV making fun of microgreens. Yes, because they're totally overused and pretty much a cliche now. But hey, I haven't used them all summer. So here they totally made sense. Tiny, tiny, baby arugula in this case, really finished the dish perfectly. So this was a really nice, simple but delicious fall meal. The earthy mushroom, sweet corn, underneath that slightly smoky grilled halibut, just a great dinner. That mushroom and corn base will work under just about any kind of grilled meat. So give it a try. All the ingredients are on the site, and as always, enjoy.